As the sun came up, it was clear it was going to be one of those perfect days for running on the mountain. I've been looking forward to this for days. The plan was to head up over the foothills of Knocklofty and then on up the aptly named Breakneck Track and across to the springs. It really was one of those perfect winter days in southern Tasmania. Snow down to around 500 metres. Clear skies. And warm enough for short sleeves. Once up top, there were a lot of options, but I'd hoped to take a pretty much direct route off track across to Mount Connection. A perfect day for trail running. Except for one thing. Oh dear, that's not good. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of running done today. I'm really not feeling too good. But what I thought we'd do instead of taking you out on a run is to show you what we normally take with us to eat when we go running. Flo makes this really good little bar um, that's got everything in there that you need for a day out on the trail. So we'll show you that along with um, the breakfast that we would normally eat if we are heading out on a long run. It's uh, pretty unusual, but I think it's something that you'll like and find pretty interesting. So I'll show you how we make breakfast when we are heading out for a long run. I'll start off by showing you how to make a high protein energy bar. This is what we usually take with us on our long runs. When I'm using nuts, I usually toast them in the oven. I'm using pistachios, but you can use any nuts you like. I like to chop them by hand, but you can blitz them in the blender as well. I add them to the bowl and then do the same thing with the dried fruit. I'm using dried cranberries and goji berries, but again, dates and apricots would be also good. I add them to the nuts and now comes the easy bit. I'll just combine all the dry ingredients. In goes the puffed amaranth, followed by the chia seeds, or chia. And now the sesame seeds and sunflower seeds, pepita and hemp seeds. In goes the lemon zest and shredded coconut. And now I'll give it a good stir through. Now I'll add some vanilla extract. And in goes the honey. Last but not least, the almond butter. I've made my butter myself, but you can also buy them in a good health store or supermarket. Mix it until everything comes together. I've lined this baking tray with parchment paper. And now I'll just spread the mix out over the tray. And now it comes the fun part. Just press it down very firmly with a spatula. 
until you get an even layer and it's ready for the finishing touch, the chocolate. And now you just spread it out with a spatula. Doesn't need to be very even. And now it's ready for the fridge. So now my energy bars are ready. Uh, they've been in the fridge for a few hours and they're nice and firm and they're ready to cut. Oh, they finished already? Yeah. Oh, that looks great. I'll try that in a sec. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, click that like button, share it with others, and um, hopefully we'll be back to normal services again next week. Um, if you've got any tips about how to get rid of the flu, leave them down below. Um, I'm drinking some hot lemon here and honey, and hopefully all will be well by next week, and we'll, we'll see you in the next video. See you next week.